Today, I'm building world's biggest airport in my own city. Welcome to New Apple. In the previous episode, which was a live stream, wow, I build Adam's Land. Look at this magnificent place. <gasps> it's a theme park. We've got an actual roller coaster here, a Ferris wheel, and a new district. That's right, I spent a lot of time in the previous episode to get tourists into my city. If you look at the statistics, we actually have 60-70% of city attractiveness, which is pretty decent. Now, a lot of these tourists have quite a lot of money, and we can bring even richer tourists to our city if we build an airport. Now listen, this is an ongoing series and it is fueled by your likes. We need to see at least 35,000 likes underneath of this video in order for me to upload another video on City Skylights. Also, make sure you get some merchandise, jellystore.com. Jelly City merch is completely sold out, so in case you missed that, I'm sorry, it's gone. Over here, we've got my zoo. It's still a work in progress, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I actually just managed to level this thing up to level four, which means we've unlocked some new things such as a monkey palace. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Let's place one down. Boom. And here we've got a giraffe enclosure. Oh no, I'm scared of things that are taller than me. Yo, what's this? A sea life enclosure? Whoa. But a sea life enclosure <gasps> requires a shoreline. Okay. Well, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. I could just dig a giant hole, right? <laughs> we'll have to remove some of this zoo fencing because, well, let's be honest, that's not in the right spot. And then we get a fresh water outlet and we basically pump some water into this thing. And then, well, we wait. Now, the airport is gonna bring a lot of new tourism to our area. You see this roundabout? Well, I think that this is the most perfect location for an airport. However, I'm gonna need to get 60,000 people living in my city before I unlock the airport. But 60,000 people also unlocks a brand new area. If I could buy this one, that would be great. I'm not sure I can though. I think I'm gonna have to buy one of the oceans. We'll see, we'll see. I actually worked on a lot of things off recording. That's right, look at this. We've got a brand new neighborhood. This small area already existed, but I added some new roads here that are still slightly polluted, but doesn't matter. I added a lot of nice trees around this beautiful intersection, and I believe, yeah, here I added another little neighborhood as well. And even over here, look at this beach area. And then up here, wow, it looks fantastic. We also have a couple of new skyscrapers. That big one's ugly. This one's beautiful though. That's the tallest building in town. I'm not sure I uh, I added this thing in the live stream. Here we've got a cloverleaf intersection, which mm, is working quite well. Some road upgrades here and there. I moved the train station to this side. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's let the game play because we are getting a lot more citizens. Okay, that is enough water, I think. Yes, beautiful. Is this gonna work now? Is this big enough? Please tell me this is big enough. Water required? What do you mean? There we go, yes! Uh, all we gotta do now is put a little key around it if that works. It actually looks pretty good. Would you look at that? Wowie wee wow. All right, we already gained 500 new people. That goes pretty quick, but we have a lot of industrial and office, or actually commercial demand. I built this new district in the previous episode, and I think it's time to expand it. All right, so let's just add a new neighborhood simply made out of blocks. But hey, you know, this technically is a version of the United States, so whatever. Blocks don't really exist in Europe, okay? Look at this. This is a beautiful new little area. We're just gonna add a small little pathway. There we go. Just connect these places up, you know? You don't want people to struggle. Now, before we actually uh, place our residential buildings down, these guys need Need an elementary school. They also need a police station. We could place a headquarters and a little clinic. Why not? Now everyone's happy. Now let's start on this side. We are gonna be building high density commercial. Then we're gonna place some offices on the main street, offices on the corner, and then high density residential. We need more citizens, you know? We gotta hit that mark of 60,000. And now because we have industrial on this side, I actually think we need to place offices here. Cause well, road noise is disturbing. I do notice this roundabout could have some covers. There we go. Less noise pollution over there. And we'll also add some trees. There we go. All right, I think this area is ready. Play! All right, are we gonna get people moving here immediately? People are liking it, people are liking it. Okay, we've got electricity. These guys are complaining, but 
If we get a little house build over here, we'll be all right. Whoa, look at this tower that we got built in a neighborhood. Okay, our industrial demand does not seem to be dropping quick enough. All right, so let's actually build a tiny little new industrial area over here on this corner. And what we can do is we can flow the traffic just through this intersection, okay? And what I've done here is we added a tiny little district with a heavy traffic ban. This way, cargo trucks shouldn't drive over here. It should only be people working. All right, so while we're waiting to get 60, thousand people to live in our city we can already get started on building a new road network for this airport i don't know exactly how i'm gonna do it because clearly we don't have the airport unlocked yet but i do think that this uh, little roundabout area is gonna have to move what i think the best solution is is to turn this into a clover leaf and then we get an underground highway over here that actually only pops up for the airport now, because i want to keep the game playing not sure it's a good idea to remove this but you know what let's just do it we're gonna remove move it. There were not many people using it right now anyway, and they're just gonna have to look for a different route. Okay, that's not terrible. Now let's connect these things up, and we could build the, uh, the terminal exactly right here. Look at this! It's kind of like a horseshoe connected to a roundabout. I do actually think that might work. Alright, so here we have the underground, uh, highway. Wow! Would you look at that! Juicy! So we basically have an entrance, all right? And then here we've got the exit. Aha, uh -huh. to go uh, to go to the main highway. This is great. This is gonna work out great. Oh, we're about to hit the achievement. Woo! Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. We also unlocked a bunch of new buildings. Okay, boring. Now, uh, yeah, you see, I'm gonna have to unlock either the ocean areas or these side areas or up here. Mm, no, 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 no. The airport is gonna be here, whether you like it or not. All right, let's grab the airport tool. So first things first, I think we have to start with uh, just an airport. Wait, why is there a difference between a cargo and a normal airport? I didn't even know that. Out of city limits. Ah. Okay, I, I have a solution for this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna download a mod called 81 Tiles. We're this far into the game that I think we should allow ourselves to go over these little borders. All right, we're back. Would you look at that? Perfect. I also realized the water started messing up here. Ah, my city's going mad. But now we should be able to place that airport. All right, let's have a try. And wow, perfect. Would you look at that? Such a great spot too. If the water fills up. I, I like that we have it near a river. Look at that. We got our first plane. What's up? All right, man. Where are you going? Where are you going? Flying a Lake Dale. I have no idea where that is. But anyway, we have so much more to do to our airport area. But we're going to start with actually painting this. Oh, it's landscaping as well. Okay, yes. Airport. Now, let me know in the comment section. We need a name for this airport. If you guys could help me, that would be fantastic. Okay. Okay, it's time to start. I think we have to remove this thing again because now we actually uh, have the DLC tools available to us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leveled up. What's up? Okay. That looks amazing, to be fair. Whoa. <laughs> wow, we wee wow. All right, it would be fantastic if we could kind of like build it along our horseshoe. Now we're gonna have to add terminals, but don't forget, guys, I think we also might need a cargo area. So I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna do this. The control tower is gonna be right here at the end of it. Boom. Hello, anybody out there? Hello? And then we've got hangers. Oh my God, where am I gonna have to put these? Whoa, 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 whoa. Parked planes? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? An airport bus station. Okay, I just realized it might not be the greatest idea to have this like spin around like that So what we should do instead is just make it get straight So now if we grab that modern bus station thing, yes, that's actually gonna connect Wow, 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 wow All right, so let's start guys Here we have a small airplane stand This is basically when the plane has landed It requires a little parking area we're gonna place three of them all next to each other and we're gonna connect them using taxiway. The taxiway is gonna bring us to our runway just like that. Okay, that's a nice looking runway. Now let's actually fix our taxiway a slight bit. I have never done this before because this is a brand new DLC, but I believe we need an entrance and we also need an exit. We're gonna start with one runway for now. I think we could probably fix that later. And so basically you kind of create a roundabout, right? Like this goes around, okay. I might have placed it a little too close to the airfield as well because well, we need parking. Wait, oh, whoa, whoa, this'll, this'll fit. This is gonna fit just fine. Look, boom. Aha, uh -huh. wait, what do we have? Small park, small park, small park.
Park. Okay, so they're just different looking. Is that it? Wow, look at that. They look great. Handsome planes. And then we're just gonna need a hanger or two. <laughs> See, it's my big brain. It is useful sometimes. We got three hangers. We got park planes, a runway in between. And all we gotta do now is make sure that the roads connect. And then we can start leveling up this thing because we need passengers, basically. How do we get passengers? I guess they landed because our roads aren't connected. So there's absolutely no way anybody's using this airfield right now. All right, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually remove the horseshoe. It's just causing issues I didn't expect. Okay, so this is still a small airport right now. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna how I'm gonna handle with this later. But for now, I don't think it matters if this is not pretty enough, okay? Roads are now connected. Now before we start, we're actually gonna be placing a little um a little budget airport hotel, making the airport more attractive. So let's just place that in the middle, just like that. And now I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's line up the highway. Okay, perfect. That's attached on this side. And now we're just gonna have to attach attach it over here. We will fix this later. Currently, there's nothing here, but we're gonna extend the tourism area. This all is gonna have something touristic. Let's start seeing if we can get people that come to our airport. Oh, we see a plane. Hello, plane. Hello. Whoa, it's taking off. Where's it going? Los Palma. Hello, hello. We've got our first person who is actually going to the small aircraft stand. What's up? We need more passengers, please. Come and travel from this airport. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna have to build a metro hub here. This is a very simple but effective metro. It's incredibly simple. But it works for now. I think we'll we'll make a pretty one later, but I just want I just want people to come here, you know, and spend their money. All right, so let's get a couple of routes in. All right, we're starting to see some passengers, but it's clearly not enough. We're gonna have to quickly expand our area over here. I didn't think we'd be doing this today, but if we have to, we have to. All right, let's remove some of these power lines and actually add a new roundabout. Uh, roundabouts are great to solve traffic issues and stuff like that. They don't solve everything. You still need to have like a decent, a decent sense of traffic flow in your city. What I was thinking as well is this zoo, right? It's it's just on the wrong side. We've got a giant theme park over here causing a ton of traffic. If we have the zoo entrance on this side of town, it would just make so much more sense. Oh, wait, what? International airport reached level two that quickly? Oh, I'm so happy. I did not see that we already had 500 passengers. Passenger sees 100% used, okay. Let's expand on our airport then. I thought we would build a touristic area, but no, we don't actually have to. We now unlocked a medium aircraft stand, which is a lot bigger. We'll place three of them here as well. So we've got three medium airplane stands. We got three small ones over here, and here are the big ones. We also unlocked a classic large terminal. Even this, what? This one has a built-in metro line and a built-in road. If we could place that right here, that would solve so many issues. Do I really have to remove this already? Okay, okay, you are going here. You are going here. We'll fix this later, but this seems very important. We have an actual terminal that has a built-in metro line. Like, what else do you need in life, you know? How's that? Does that look good or what? Oh, not bad. Oh, it's not completely centralized. We'll fix that with our move it mod. Oh, yes. I said wow to that. Yes, mate. Yes. Okay, so that's our new taxiway. That should work. But because I just realized, we cannot forget to change the little setup here. So we need, what is this? A concourse hub. We can get an actual hub. I think that's a bit too much right now. Oh, would you look at this? It looks sweet. We've got a new terminal area, and now we can actually extend that with new landing platforms. We're gonna start with some medium ones. Yes, they do. Can, does that, is that gonna work? Oh, is it gonna complain again? Ah, it's gonna complain that it's too short. I never complain. All right, instead, let's just focus on something else. We have a lounge, a fuel station. Interesting, I don't really know how that works, but we'll figure it out. And then some more park planes, a luxury hotel. We need a luxury hotel, guys. We can't have none of that cheap stuff. I'd actually like to replace our current one, but I don't think it's even gonna fit. So the best thing to, it would be to make a new road for that. But for now, we'll just focus on our taxiways again. I'm struggling here. This is so much more difficult than I thought. Okay, this is starting to look pretty good. I am starting to be happy with this. This is so much more complex than a man like me would have thought why is there grass growing here man like come on i didn't want grass growing to be here okay i think i figured it out 
Um, it's very complicated, but basically it's a giant roundabout with a runway in the middle. So now all we gotta do is just place some of these hangers back. The last thing we're gonna need to do is build those large hangers, which are these. I think we're gonna build three of them. There we go. So we got a whole bunch of hangers. We've got a whole bunch of aircraft stands. We actually have a fuel station and a lounge. Ha <laughs> ha! Great! Now let's click play. All right, welcome to the new airport! And because we were working on it, we actually lost a level. I don't think that's possible with all the other things I've done, but okay, we lost a level, great. We're gonna be all right though, we're gonna be all right. We'll get these passengers back and we'll bring them home. We seriously have to start working on our uh, new touristic zone. Maybe it's actually the perfect moment now to change the entrance of the zoo. Okay, and the zoo is gonna extend like that. And I think this is a side gate. Yeah, here we've got a main gate. The main gate's gonna be on the roadside. Beautiful. We'll remove some of this stuff over here and simply connect the path. Wow. Okay, I understand this might be a little odd right now, but trust me, it will work out. This way we've got like kind of a touristic thing, you know what I'm saying? So we still have the side gate. People can still enter from here. But once we get tourists over here on this side, this main gate is gonna do wonders. This airport is huge. Though, isn't it? It looks cool though. I like the way it looks so far. Oh, we got an airplane landing. Oh, 171 passengers. That is a lot of passengers. Look at that. We, oh my god, we, we have 80% full airplanes. I think we should remove this hotel and actually place the luxury one down. Space, space already occupied, of course. Let's try again now. New road, new chances. And it's kind of beautifully in the middle, too. Wow. Oh, it's even got a pool. Woohoo. All right, let's add another lounge over here. This one has a beautiful view of our city. Wow, look at that tower. I only just realized as well, we could actually open up this section because we downloaded the 81 tiles mod. We could actually put an intersection here and let the highway continue. I think we should do that as well. It will help the airport tremendously. So we're simply, this is gonna be a very simple fix because we're just gonna use a preset inter, uh, intersection. Or do we have like any fun ones that look cool, but just go in one direction? I guess that works, but hey, you know what? Why not? And now all we gotta do is loop the road. All right, it's not about making it pretty right now. It's about making it practical. Would you look at that? Brand new intersection. Perfect. Oh, look, it's working instantly. Wow. Look at that. It's, it's so beautiful, too. People have a great view of the, uh, of the airport here. All right, while we wait for our airport to level up one more time, let's start working on this new tourism area, shall we? What is going to be the main attraction, you might ask? Well, a hypermarket? Mm. We'll build that one in the next episode. We've got a London Eye over here. A cinema. Ooh. A launch site. That shouldn't be legal in this game. That seems a bit extreme if you ask me. Ooh, transport tower. A large office building. Okay, that's not that's not anything touristic. A grand mall. Yeah, I think I think this is gonna be the shopping area, guys. Would you look at this? We are about to level up the airport to level three. It's doing amazing, guys. We've got a whole bunch of passengers. Whoa! All right, let's 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 finish up the airport. We unlocked so many more new things. Okay, we've got large park planes. Okay, cargo aircraft stands. Oh my god, I think we might need a new runway just for cargo. How am I gonna do all of this? Here we go. A cargo airport terminal. Wow. Okay, okay. This is a lot of stuff to be used here. Oh my god. God, how am I gonna do all of this? I actually think our airport is already too small. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end it over here. What a successful day in city skylines. In the next episode, we're gonna focus on our new touristic area and I'll show you the airport's upgrades. Click it on the video, do it now. Click, 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 click